Bro, you gotta tell me how you scramble those eggs. I saw that sandwich, I'm not even thinking about the knives. All right, I'll tell you. So these chickens are my now free range X cage factory farm horrible life chickens. They're still a little bit fucky. This one's got a shit beak. A couple of them have heaps of feathers missing still. Uh, they're in various states of getting past that point of their lives. Now they get to just wander around my yard. They've got probably a quarter of an acre just to like dig up bugs and scratch. And, and I also give them like pellets and seed and things like that. Uh, I really like chickens. They're my favorite animals. Maybe, I don't know. They just make me happy. They have like a huge amount of curiosity and especially once they're like tame and they're not scared of you anymore. It's really nice. So um, these guys here, they produce me probably about, there's 14 of them now. They produce me about oh, I can seven to eight eggs a day. And I usually try and have like four to, you know, three to four eggs a day with my breakfast. And sometimes we have you know, other stuff with eggs and like omelets and whatever. So I don't use anything in my scrambled eggs. I think it's because they're fresh, they cook really well. That might be it, because they're usually like two days old tops when I'm eating them, right? Uh, my pan is just a cast iron enamel coated pan. I'll chuck in like three or four eggs, rough them up a little bit, and then stir them up, let them sit, stir them up, let them sit, stir them up, and let them sit. Eggs are amazing. I, they are like a cheat code. They are, even have their own wrapper. It's crazy. They, they, sit out, they just sit on my bench. I don't put them in the fridge. I don't do anything with them. If they're all covered in shit, I'll wash them. And like, sometimes I'll soak them in like dish soap and like get them properly clean. But then if you make a clean break with them anyway, it's fine. The chicken shell layer doesn't seem to be permeable, so anyway. And then I serve them on toast, buttered toast with Parmesan cheese. Trust me, Parmesan cheese, better than putting salt and pepper on them, although I do sometimes put a little bit of extra pepper. But Parmesan cheese, it's such a, you need such a little amount of it, but it really boosts the flavor of, of everything. This is like the proper Italian stuff. It's also got lots of vitamin K and great nutrients in it as well for a super duper healthy breakfast that I enjoy with a cup of black coffee. Anyway, enough about the chickens and the eggs. You probably want to hear about the cans bowl, the Mora cans bowl. This was a knife that I, I, you get a Garberg, right? And you get an Eldris when you're like a knife reviewer guy because the cans bowl just looks like a boring old Mora. It doesn't have that cool new full tang or that little neck knife aesthetic going on. So you kind of just bypass the cans bowl. Turns out, I think the cans bowl is the best of that, you know, 2017 Mora trilogy that came out or whatever the heck, heck that was um the cans bowl is like the refined version of a companion in my opinion it's got a thin blade that's made for sort of slicing rather than the companions made for kind of general every kind of work whereas this is definitely more of a, a small jobs kind of knife but it's really nice and light and it's got a really nice sort of um thin blade that still doesn't feel weak it's Definitely feels less substantial than the Garberg. The blade is probably half the weight. Uh, that's just like the actual metal blade is half the weight. And the handle, because it's not full tang, it's just kind of a, a partial or a stick tang going halfway or third, two thirds of the way into the handle. Much, much less weight to it. The Garberg does feel like a very robust knife compared to the, the Cans Bowl. So for me though, for my purposes, I don't really need in my day to day like a super rough and ready rugged knife. The the Garberg to me is is fine, but I definitely like this Cans bowl more. You can really use that tip, that slicey tip to to do all sorts of cutting really really well. In fact, this unlike a lot of Moras will cut food really well too because it's such a thin blade and basically the front half of the blade is really really uh, slicey too, which most Moras are not. Scandinavian grinds are good except for food, but the Cans bowl is good including food so really really enjoying this blade it's also a really good price point it's not an expensive mora it's more than the companions of course and it's more than the robust and the basics and those sorts of knives but it's still about half the price of a garberg it's about 69 dollars in australia nice and um yeah you get just the basic sheath with it which is all i would need um, I've been carrying it around in my Garberg sheath because that has the extra like fire steel loop thing on it, which is fun. But uh, yeah, generally speaking, it's a really high value package and I've come to really, really enjoy the cans bowl. It's probably my second favorite Mora. I like the Companion Spark just a little bit more because it's also a good and thin Mora, but it's kind of got the inbuilt fire steel and it's as rugged as I need a Mora knife to be. But if you don't like the look of the Companion Spark or you think the the, the fire steel and the handle is a bit hokey pokey, 
then by all means, the CANS bowl is absolutely the right Mora for you. I guarantee you that you'll like it. The steel is the same Mora recycled stainless steel now, so probably 12C27, maybe 12C, sorry, 14C28N, who knows? Who knows what is going into that big recycling melting pot they've got, but it's good performing steel at the very least, and it is a high grade, a high quality, like a, a very um, versatile type of steel. Like I had the 420HC from Gerber in the last video, that stuff sucks for holding a Scandi edge. This guy holds a really thin Scandi edge with this steel and does it really well. It hasn't got any weird rolls or chips in it. I've used it way harder than that Gerber. So there you go. Look, this is a quick review. Like I didn't, you know, there's not a great deal that needs to be said about this knife and there's a lot of better reviews on this blade, but people have asked, hey Pete, what do you think about the Cairns Bowl? And it's my second favorite Mora. I guess that's, that's what I think about it. So thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Hope you enjoyed hearing about the Cairns Bowl and goodbye. Mm -hmm.